Hi everyone. Okay. One last video, I swear. Um, so this is my fall and winter um, TBR, which means to be read. Um, these are the books that I will hopefully read by the end of winter. I know a lot of people do a TBR for like every month. <laughs> um, and I'm a bookworm and everything, but I also have to work. <laughs> I'm sure they also work too. Um, but yeah, I'm being more realistic with myself because I know myself. So these are um, the books that like are next in line, you know, that I want to read in the next couple of months. So let's get to it. Um, this one I'm currently reading, 20th Century Ghost Stories. I think this is where I left off. I don't know. Uh, I don't have a bookmark in it. Um, hey, please. It. It's a bunch of different ghost stories from different authors. And um, I got it at a used bookstore in Fort Bragg for $5.00. And it's, um, they're older stories, like, from earlier this century, and I think some of them might actually be prior to that. Um, they're a little on the dry side. <laughs> this is how far I've gotten, and I can't remember when I started, but it's been probably at least a month, if not longer. Um, yeah, they're just, they're not, so far, they're not scary. Um, I read them in bed before I go to sleep. Um, so, yeah, they're not scary. Um, they're more kind of interesting. Um, and again, they're a little on the dry side, which is why it's taken me so long to finish. Um... So it might take me till the end of winter to finish this one, but I'm powering through. We shall see. Um, and then next in line is a book that I got at um, the Dollar General for three dollars. Look how thick that sucker is. Yeah, it's called Drood by Dan Simmons. On June 9, 1865, while traveling by train to London with his secret mistress, 53-year-old Charles Dickens, at the height of his powers and popularity, the most famous and successful novelist in the world, hurtled into a disaster that changed his life forever. Did Dickens begin living a dark double life after the accident? Were his nightly forays into the worst slums of London and his deepening obsession with corpses, crypts, murder, opium dens, lime pits, and a hidden London beneath London mere research? Or something much darker? Da, da, da. So I thought this was cool. Um, I like when authors put a, a new been on history um, and you know historical figures and like real people and you know they kind of say well what if this person was really doing this but we thought they were doing this so I, I like that sort of um, retelling of history and it was three dollars at the Dollar General I love the Dollar General so, the next one is called The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Alfred is a handmaid in the Republic of Gilead. She may leave the home of the commander and his wife once a day to walk to food markets, whose signs are now pictures instead of words, because women are no longer allowed to read. Can you believe that I would not want to live in that time, y'all? Because I'm a bookworm. 
she must lie on her back once a month and pray that the commander makes her pregnant because in an age of declining births, Offred and the other handmaids are valued only if their ovaries are viable. Offred can remember the years before when she lived and made love with her husband Luke, when she played with and protected her daughter, when she had a job, money of her own, and access to knowledge. But all of that is gone now. Now, if that doesn't sound like a horror story, I don't know what does, okay? So, um, yeah, the books that I've chosen for Fall and Winter are kind of like spooky and scary. Um, some might argue, hey, this isn't scary. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty fucking scary to me. So, uh, The Handmaid's Tale. I got this at Walmart. Um, I can't remember. I didn't pay very much. Probably like five or six dollars. Brand new. So, um, yeah, that definitely sounds like a horror story. Um, the next one on my list is Frankenstein which I also got at a used bookstore in Fort Bragg. Um, it's the famous tale by Mary Shelley and I have never read it. Um, and it's a classic so I want to read it and I'm going to. And the last book on my list is Houdini The Untold Story by Milbourne Christopher. Not Christopher? Milborn. Milborn Christopher. So it's um, a biography, obviously. And it's about uh, Houdini, one of the like greatest and coolest magicians ever. Um, and you might be thinking, well, what's so scary about Houdini is just a magician. Well, if you didn't know, uh, Houdini actually died on Halloween. He was, um, he wasn't really involved in spiritualism. People tried to get him involved in spiritualism, and he was like, nah, that's pretty much a crack of shit. Um, but, yeah, I think his life is just, um, from what I know of it, which really is not a lot, but, um, his life is, you know, kind of weird and crazy and, uh, definitely interesting, and so I want to learn more about him. And I must have got, hold on, I found a bookmark. I think I got this, yeah. A used bookstore in Fort Bragg, but a different one. The Bookstore and Vinyl Cafe. So, oh, and the receipt, too. Oh, my gosh. April 3rd, 2012. And I still haven't read this book. So, yeah, hopefully I will um, read it before winter ends, which is in March. So I've got one, two, three, four, five books to read in, help me out with the math, what, four months? So we'll see if I can do it. I'll come back to you guys in March and I'll let you know if I finished all of these books. And then maybe I'll make a new list for like spring, summer. I don't know why I said it like that. I think I'm tired. Anyways, so um, do you have a list of books? TBR to be read. Um, if so, put comments down below or make your own video. Um, whoopsie, I'm shaking stuff. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching my video and we'll see you next time. Bye.